good morning students today we discuss about synthesis of genistein in the last class we learned about structural elucidation of genistein in the last class we learned about structural elucidation of genistein this is the structure of genistein this structure containing three hydroxy groups these are three hydroxy groups presented at 4 and 7 positions and also this structure containing c double bond o group so this is also called as 4 dash 5 7 trihydroxy isoflavone genistein is also called as 4 dash 5 7 trihydroxy isoflavone now we discuss about the synthesis of genistein now we discuss about the synthesis of genistein here two synthesis methods are there first one is Bayer's synthesis method second one is spate synthesis method in Bayer's synthesis method genistein can be synthesized from 246 trihydroxyphenyl parahydroxy benzyl ketone genistein can be synthesized from 246 trihydroxyphenyl parahydroxy benzyl ketone this is the structure of 246 trihydroxyphenyl parahydroxy benzyl ketone this is treated with sodamide formula of sodamide is NaNH2 in the presence of sodamide CH2 group losses H plus ion and then converted into CH minus ion in the presence of sodamide CH2 group losses H plus ion and then converted into CH minus ion here sodamide NaNH2 acted as a base so it removes H plus ion from CH2 group then CH2 group is converted into CH minus CH2 group is converted into CH minus this compound undergoes this formed compound undergoes formylation reaction in this formylation reaction this is treated with ethyl formate in this formylation reaction this is treated with ethyl formate formula of ethyl formate is HCOO C2H5 in this reaction CH minus ion attacks C double bond O group CH minus ion attacks C double bond O group in ethyl format at the same time ethoxy group is removed at the same time ethoxy group is removed okay this is the formed new compound and unstable compound this unstable compound undergoes cyclization reaction this unstable compound undergoes cyclization reaction in this cyclization reaction new bond is formed in between oxygen atom of OH group and C double bond O group in this cyclization reaction new bond is formed in between oxygen atom of OH group and C double bond O group okay this is the formed new compound this compound losses water molecule this formed compound losses water molecule finally we get genistein okay finally we get genistein another method is spate synthesis method 
another method is spate synthesis method in this method we 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone this is again treated with soda mite this 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone is treated with soda mite in the presence of soda mite CH2 group losses H plus ion and converted into CH minus. In the presence of sodamide, CH2 group losses H plus ion and then converted into CH minus. This is treated with this formed compound is treated with ethyl carboxy carbonyl chloride. Ethyl carboxy carbonyl chloride. Formula of ethyl carboxy carbonyl chloride is Cl, C double bond O, C double bond O, O C to H5. Okay. CH minus ion attacks this C double bond O group in ethyl carboxy carbonyl chloride. CH minus ion attacks this C double bond O group. This C double bond O group. Okay. At the same time, Cl is removed as Cl minus. Okay, this is the formed new compound and unstable compound. This unstable compound undergoes cyclization reaction. This unstable compound undergoes cyclization reaction. In this cyclization reaction, new bond is formed in between oxygen atom of OH group and C double bond O group at the same time pi bond is shifted to oxygen atom in between carbon and oxygen so oxygen gets a negative charge H plus ion added this O minus ion then O minus is converted into OH okay this is the formed new compound this compound losses water molecule so pi bond is formed in between these two carbon atoms okay pi bond is formed in between these two carbon atoms this compound undergoes hydrolysis reaction in this hydrolysis reaction COOC to H5 group is totally removed in this hydrolysis reaction COOC to H5 group is totally removed finally we get genistine okay uses of genistine genistine as anti neoplastic action genistine is anti neoplastic diseases neoplastic diseases means tumor formation diseases neoplastic diseases means tumor formation diseases okay genistein as anti neoplastic action it is best antioxidant <coughs> it has anti cancer property it is used in perfume industry and also used as food coloring agent okay genistein has anti neoplastic action genistein has anti neoplastic diseases it is best antioxidant it has anti cancer property it is used in perfume industry and also used as food coloring agent these are the uses of genistein okay this one meant write the synthesis methods of genistein write the synthesis methods of genistein in the next class we will discuss about diazine in the next class we will discuss about genistein sorry diazine thank you